so loud, you can hear it from anywhere. Maybe it's the band. The smell of the turf. The brightness from the stadium lights. The shaking of the bleachers. Whatever it is, football on a Friday. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Feels electric. Yeah, I'm excited every every Friday. All week, I'm just like, can't wait to play in that football game. At Clover High School in Clover, South Carolina, brothers Landon. Win. 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 In Grady Stone. How many, how many yards you had to consider, Crystal? Like 200. Don't really have any game day superstitions other than the team dinner. Anybody want my, a, a cookie? No, Grady Stone. And a quick prayer. Amen. Amen. Landon is a senior. <laughs> Grady, sophomore. The two grew up playing on the football field and running drills in their front yard. I love the intensity of it. I mean, it's just, it's a sport like no other sport, I'd say. Though they can't always see them from the sidelines, they've always heard their biggest cheerleaders. At this game, there's grandparents Yoli and Randy. You could probably count the games I've missed. Football, basketball, lacrosse. You could probably count all the games I've missed on one hand. First down. Dad Curtis. But there's one voice that's sadly missing. It's already a year and a couple months right now. She was my biggest supporter. She was at every game, her and her cowbell. She, you, you could hear her from anywhere. The best mother I could have ever had. Well, we visited her, her grave uh, today. We go by every game. Their mom, Kathy, was the definition of a football mom. Known for her cowbell, she was always there cheering for her boys. She passed away from breast cancer last July. I go visit her, I visit her a lot, her grave over in Rock Hill, I'm, I'm there a lot. I mean, it all stems from her. There, it's there, her. I mean, really. For the first time ever, the brothers are on the same team and playing the same position, running back. Kathy never got to see them play together. May have never played together if it wasn't for that one game. On the second game of the season, Landon was hurt, so he couldn't play. So little brother Grady was pulled up from JV, and like a play call from above, something amazing happened. No one knew who he was. Uh, no one expected him to do what he did, and he went, uh, I think it was like 206 yards and 12 carries in the first half. Her cowbell still makes it to their games. So she's here with us right now. Landon started on the carry. <laughs> Because even though they might not be able to see her, they will always hear her.